Hey everybody, Mark here, going to talk about the newest rocket that Jake, uh, as well as myself, built. Its name is Layer Success. It is a six and a half foot tall model rocket with a 3D printed rocket nose cone. Mark here with Jake, and we're going to talk about our rocket we're about to launch. We'll scroll on in. So Jake, tell us a little about the rocket from the fins all the way up. So the fins are... This is a rocket journey that has started probably five years ago. I started building this rocket when we were in Atlanta, and it's been moved with us about three, four times now, and just now getting around to finishing it about five years later. Uh, tubes are nothing special. Uh, they're two-inch uh, mailing tubes that you could buy at the UPS store or mailboxes, etc. The fins are made of quarter-inch uh, sand, sand plywood that you would uh, typically see in a uh, door in your house. They've just been sanded and sealed and glued on. How were they glued on? What kind of glue? Uh, some good old-fashioned Elmer's wood glue. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, motor mount uh, was uh, built around uh, the motor that it's that is sitting in right now. And uh, it's a G40, which has about, uh, I want to say, nine pounds of thrust in total. I have to confirm that. But nose cone, uh, in, in the rocket world, you cannot go commercially buy a nose cone that fits a two-inch mailing tube. So you have to get creative. And uh, so we did. We printed a 3D model of one, and Mark actually 3D printed it, uh, specifically designed around this rocket. So what's that one in your hand? This is the original prototype that we put together to kind of prove out the concept. Uh, but due to some uh, uh, brutality of, of, the, of the part, we went back and made some designs. Well, Mark went and made some design changes and reprinted it. Uh, it took about 14 hours to print. It was printed in three sections, the top to about here, the center, and then the, uh, the lower lug. Okay, and just in the back, so you guys know, um, that's just a, a standard um, eye hook. There's a there's a nut on the back side, and it's just JB welded in. And we'll come to the top, the finished one. What's really nice about this is they, they actually all of the transition is tangent all the way up to the tip. Um, the tip actually has a small fillet on it. Um, you probably can't even see, but a small fillet, so it's easier to print. I will upload the file for this one as well. And uh, the name of it? What's layered, the layered success? Okay, because it took a lot of time to build it, and we three D printed the top. The so is actually made from a broken golf umbrella. Took all the uh, the mechanical parts out and, uh, and and wired it up to be a parachute. So this is a full golf parachute, and uh, if everything goes according to plan, uh, this will stay aloft uh, for quite a while. So it's a. Oh, how are we gonna go today? Would say at a minimum probably 1200 feet awesome all right well let's watch the launch then let's do this so let's talk a little bit more about the 3d printed rocket nose cone um this is kind of the this is kind of the way that it was designed first uh i actually went into solidworks and 3d modeled it if you can see there's actually three distinct pieces as we talked about before a upper middle and lower um, the reason we went for three pieces was because it was pretty tall. With a 16 inch um, height, um, a typical 3D printer has no more than 8 inches of vertical height. Um, so we did print it in three sections. Um, the brakes were evenly on the upper part of the nose cone. And where the nose cone slipped into the tube, um, we printed that as a, as a brake as well. So we didn't have to put supports on that. Um, so as you can see, the first picture is a 3D printed or the 3D model. Um, the next picture is the is actually becoming 3D printed um, with all the pieces. Uh, when these parts were printed, we printed a nice flat piece on top, uh, and you'll see it in the 3D model um, that I think it was about 45 degree um, chamfer on the bottom of each or on the top of each part, so you could have that nice welded surface. Uh, moving over, we were solvent welding it. Um, the parts were printed out of uh, ABS. Um, so just having some acetone and some uh, uh, ABS uh, dissolved in that container. You can see the black material. Um, we just wiped it right on top and stuck them together. Um, the idea at the beginning was to put a guide, um, kind of like a guide lug, 
uh, rod in the center so you can align everything. Um, but what we learned was that really is not necessary. It just gets uh, in the way. Uh, you can center up the nose cone pretty well um, with just with just uh, pushing them together because you have a nice flat surface when 3D printed. Um, over on the far right hand side, uh, we have the semi finished product. It's all been solvent welded together. Um, the surface finish wasn't wasn't perfect. Um, it was good. Um, so we attempted to actually lightly put a little bit of the ABS juice, as they call it, um, the ABS and uh, acetone mix on the surface. And that kind of filled some of the lower spots. Um, we did have to go back and do probably about 30 minutes worth of sanding um, from or with uh, 80 grit going up to 250 grit sandpaper um, to get that nice uh nice smooth surface there were some pits that were still uh, visible um, I think with more sanding and with another application of the filler material uh, you would be able to uh, fix this so let's talk a little bit about the launch site um, we launched this in Pooler Georgia it's right outside of Savannah Georgia a suburb and to give you a little information, uh, the place we launched it was Wildcat Dam Road, Pooler, Georgia. Um, at the end, there's a nice open field. Um, actually, a wonderful area to launch, uh, a gravel pad, and the road just dead ends. Um, around it, there's about, uh, about a half a mile in all directions um, of open field, just high grass. Uh, so it's a great place to launch rockets in, in Pooler. So, and here we go. We're gonna launch. Let's launch a rocket. A layered success. Cars, no planes. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. That'll do. Oh! <laughs> I think I got it on camera. Can't tell at all. It's going to drift way far, man. Mama! What's that, baby? Not even close, honey. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, better out here, car. Where's it? Where is it at? Right there, above the. Oh, there it is, man. Coming on down. <laughs> so, uh, it was pretty high in the air. Uh, this was taken with a, a Nexus Five cell phone camera. Uh, in the future, we'll look to actually use a nice tripod. Um, but it did go really high up in the air, and I cut right here. And we will jump back into, um, after us walking a pretty far distance and looking for it for about 20 minutes, we are able to find it. So, you think you found it? I got it. Let's check out how it is. So we're probably, what, a quarter mile away, you'd say? Right. Yeah, look at it. So it's right over there. We'll walk around and go get it. See some beautiful cows over here. And a fan of feather. Yeah, red parachute definitely helps out. Is it swamp there? Uh, a little bit. It's up that one. All right, so we were lucky to land in a nice hay field back here over the trees. A little swampy. Oh, real, dude, it's, yeah. Stay in that grass over there, man. So what do you look like? We live to fly another day. So let's see, so we got this. Fins look intact. It's run off the tube. Now here's where the question is, how did the 3D printed nose go? In? Oh, it's like poking in the ground. Yeah, how about that? How'd it come out? We are good. That looks real good. No cracks. And our parachute, our free parachute turned out great. Well, let me go ahead and pack that. I'll pack it right back in. 
and uh, we went all the way over tree line and way beyond over there about a quarter mile we launched so layer success we'll have another layer of success hopefully yes, yes thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> so let's give you a little bit of summary um of the launch um or the launch and the rocket so the rocket was six and a half uh feet tall um we had a 16 inch uh, 3d printed nose cone we used as a standard two inch milling tube um the nice thing is that uh we were able to 3d print the nose cone uh, to the mailing tube sizes so we didn't have to go and buy a custom uh or buy a, a rocket tube itself um the engine that we used was a g40-7 had a pretty good amount of smoke um a good place so you can trace uh when it's flying in the air our projected Apogee was right at 1,200 feet. Um, we did not have an altimeter on it, so we don't know exactly how high we went, but we went pretty high. Um, today, we had the wind uh, from the northeast, about five miles an hour. We had five, five and a 10 mile an hour gust. Um, and to give you an idea, uh, we set some pins when we launched as well as when we uh, found it just with the cell phone and going back into Google Maps we were able to measure that and we were right at um, a little over a third of a mile so that's our rocket that we designed and printed if you guys got any more questions we'll upload the 3d uh, file so you guys can try to build one yourself and uh, if you have any questions please uh, leave at the bottom thank you